Hey everybody, how you doing? I have a very important subject to talk to you today about and a lot of people ask this question and I just wanted to make a video about it so someone always has a reference point and knows what to do in case. Uh, a lot of people ask, does my vintage Zippo have an asbestos wick? Yes, it does, unfortunately. Uh, it was legal to use everywhere. Uh, it wasn't banned in the building of houses until 1977 and then it was banned from consumer products in 1989. Uh, that is by the USA standards. And unfortunately, your vintage Zippos will have an asbestos wick, but do not panic. Uh, so let's just get into it first. Why would they use asbestos in the Zippo wick? Well, asbestos is flame retardant, so uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't burn very easily, which would actually make it a very great wick. At the time, everyone thought asbestos was this amazing product. They used it in virtually everything. Uh, you still find it in products today, unfortunately. Um, that's how widely it's used uh, but as far as the asbestos goes it worked really well they stopped using it in consumer products in 89 but here's the thing when they banned it in 1977 from houses and homes zippo had already caught on that they shouldn't be using this they already had a stockpile of wicks they did phase these out by the 80s uh anywhere like they stopped using them and some zippos you would still get them some not because they're phasing them out getting rid of them uh they didn't want to be affiliated with that zippo was uh, by 1989 zippo had actually already phased out asbestos wicks for a few years by that point uh so <laughs> what leaves me to tell you guys is unfortunately for the vintage zippo collectors uh, if you have the original wick in there chances are it is asbestos uh, so what should you do in case you have a vintage uh, Zippo with asbestos? If you're never planning on using the Zippo or cleaning the Zippo, it is just a shelf queen. You're going to put it away and never use it like this one here. Um, then don't worry about it. Just don't touch it. Don't use it. Uh, now, if you're going to be using the Zippo, the best thing I can recommend is to wear a mask and gloves. Uh, go outside, pull the wick out, pull all the cotton out, uh, wash the wash the insert Take all that cotton, put it in a bag, wrap it up, throw it in the garbage, or if that's illegal, find out where you can get rid of it, um, anything like that. But usually the garbage is just fine, for me anyway. <laughs> but uh, so now you're wondering, well, how do I know, how to identify the asbestos wick? Well, it's got to be in early 80s and prior. So like anything from the beginning of Zippo to the early 80s, uh, that's when you'll find the asbestos wick, if it has the original insert. But it's very... It's very uncommon to find the asbestos wicks because a lot of people knew this. Uh, and most of the times when I buy vintage Zippos, they have a newer insert or someone has changed the wick and cotton in it already. Uh, that's also very common. And a lot of vintage sellers who are selling these all the time, they actually do the work themselves and pull it out. Uh, like Dependable Flame is one of those guys. Uh, he usually pulls out all the wicks and cotton and everything and repacks it. Uh, so just let that be known. And that's what you should do in case you have one. And now, for anyone who thinks that they're going to sue Zippo or something like that, you you legally cannot because they uh, it wasn't closed till 89. There was nothing you can do about it. That's that's not the way it works. Uh, there is a there is only one mention of it on the internet, and it's in the asbestosclaims.lob.gov.org or whatever it is website. And uh, they do specifically mention the Zippo wicks. And uh, that's where I got the information that they were they phased them out a little earlier than everybody else did. Even though the ban was in 89, everyone knew in 77, hey, this stuff's bad. <laughs> They've already banned it in homes. Uh, so that will help. And now the last thing you're going to want to know is how do I identify my asbestos wick? Like I said, it'd have to be an early 80s Zippo. But here is my uh, late 60s Niagara Falls Zippo with an extremely tight hinge. That's all it opens. Uh, there's an asbestos wick. That's what it looks like. You can easily tell it doesn't have the copper wrapped around it. Uh, this is all original. That is asbestos. And I do not, you do not disturb it. Do not play with the wick. Do not do anything. You just leave it. Shut that lid. Never to be seen again. Uh, I'm never going to use that zip or do anything with it. So I'm not worried about it. Uh, but like I said, the older ones I've had, I have changed out. And that's it. Uh, now, like I said, don't sit here and blame Zippo. Everyone in the world was using asbestos. It was really good. It was a really good product at the time. Um, and that's the way it is. I tried to email Zippo to figure out what year they exactly stopped using it. Because like I said, the claims thing mentioned that they had already phased it out earlier. Um, they wouldn't actually give me an answer or a date. 
but like I said, uh, from people I've talked to and things I've dug up online, they knew about it in the 70s, started phasing it out. Anywhere between 82 and 84, they were already just almost completely phased out. Probably still find a few. Um, so anyone who collects vintage Zippos, I just want you to be aware of that. And I want there to be information on this. There isn't a YouTube video on this. So uh, this will be something that people will probably come back to. So if you have any other additional information, please let me know down in the comments. It would benefit everybody. And like I said, it's not dangerous. Don't play with it. Don't use it or get rid of it. It's it's very simple. It's not going to kill you guys. It's just a tiny little wick. So everyone take care. Have a good one. I will see you in the next one. Hope you found that video informative and useful.